try to do this tip where you can kind of see what I'm doing here. A lot of people, when they are weeding a garden, they let it get out of control. And then they go in and they have to spend hours weeding it. And kind of a trick that I've been doing for years, I only take 10 minutes every day. I come out into the garden. I look at an area that's got some weeds. And I spend 10 minutes just cleaning up those little bit of weeds. And because I do that every day, the weeds don't get out of control. And it's pretty easy to keep up with. So I'm kind of hoping that you can learn something from this tip that really it's better off if you get the weeds before they get out of control. Now there's other ways you can do this. It's a little bit faster. Sometimes I use the other methods. Sometimes I come out here with a hoe and I basically just smack the ground where there's a weed at to uproot it. What you'll find sometimes though is you'll pull these weeds and if you pull them out roots and all they'll actually if like it's supposed to rain later today so if i pull it out roots and all and toss it on the ground you can see some old weeds right there but if i toss them on the ground what will happen is it'll rain tonight and they'll root again <laughs> You see that happen quite a bit. You can see like a weed that's knocked over and I've already done a lot of this up here. But it literally, I can do this whole garden almost in 10 minutes because there's just not a lot. And uh, that just makes it very quick to walk through here and just pull whatever weeds I see. And to be honest with you, I haven't actually done this in about three or four days because you don't have to do it every day. You might initially, like if you're already behind on weeding, spend about 10 minutes every day, just knock a section out. And then by the time that you get the whole garden done, there shouldn't be near as many weeds the second time. And if you just keep doing that, it gets to be really easy to take care of. You don't have to deal with going out there and spending all day Saturday and Sunday. And you're also, by doing this every day, a little bit of time every day in the garden, you're also better able to keep track of any type of bug or pest issues that you might have coming up you'll have to deal with. Because you can, you can see it way easier when there's less weeds, for one. And also, you're spending more time out in the garden, which is good for the soul, I guess. I mean, it's good for your mental health and soul. And But you can see, it's just, this goes really fast. Because there's just not a lot to mess with. Now, I'm actually getting ready to till up this place right here where I'm pulling these weeds i technically don't even have to pull these weeds i'm getting ready to till it i've got some uh, sweet potatoes that need planted and i need to heal my potatoes the second time i put a video up a few days ago about healing potatoes and i need to come out here and do it the second time to get them under control because we've had so much rain again it's supposed to rain again today so now this is one area over here that i did kind of let go on the weeds that's uh, carrots and peas, and I'll just be honest with you, it rained so much I couldn't get in here. So by the time I could get in here, they're just about pretty bad shape. But anyways, I thought I'd give you this tip, how to keep weeds under control in the garden. Just do a little bit each day. If you do a little bit each day, I mean, I've probably only been out here for however long this video is. Already weeded this area, already weeded this, already weeded all of that already weeded all this and uh it'll be good now for three or four days and then i can focus on getting these rows the next time and uh maybe over here to the tomatoes and peppers which 
they're not in that bad of shape right now. If you saw the onions last week before I weeded it, they were in just as bad as those carrots. But they're looking pretty good again. So they actually need, some of those need harvested and I need to plant some more. But uh, yeah, so you can kind of see I haven't done this in probably a week and there's just hardly no weeds in here. Even though we've had so much rain, I mean there's one every now and then. But it's not like they're not taking over the garden, right? That's kind of the point I'm trying to make. If you spend just a little bit of time each day, they won't take over your garden. Versus, if you don't spend a little bit of time each day and you just let it take over your garden, by the time you realize that the garden needs weeded, it's a whole lot of work. That you're probably going to get frustrated with and not complete in one day. So then it's never going to get done. It's never going to stay caught up. It's always just going to be a mess. So, uh, anyways, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.